You know what would make me happy? Mm. A day off. There were a few ways in uh, Tibet for me. There was the very physical daily element of the armor of 50s undergarments, of literally the garter belt, the waist cincher, the crinolines, the corset, the bra, the, like all of those pieces, by the time you're actually dressed and I'm in the wig and I have that red lipstick, it's just like, oh, I'm gone. You know, that, that, that journey over the course of just getting dressed took care of a great deal in terms of posture and everything else. Detective Betty, beat us to it. Of course. One woman welcome wagon. Mm, what'd you find out? <laughs> well, for starters, Purple is not her color. And the other thing that I was most interested in exploring was this way that white women, myself included, will like really smile through mm. a lot. Throughout the story and throughout her journey, Betty will smile through anything. She will be cutting your throat and smiling and speaking as politely as can be. If it were me, I can't imagine living somewhere I wasn't wanted. It's just this very calm, thing and everything can be going on underneath but she will never not yeah. smile the the likability factor for white women it's just like it's our own desire for safety and it's a lot of different you know ways that we feel powerless and are unaware of our own power and the ways that that feeling of powerlessness can lead to these monstrous behaviors that all come with a smile doing what it takes to protect your family your home if i was a man be an easy choice for me. The lens through which we have mostly seen 1950s America is only the male lens, the very white male lens. And so it is also a lens shift to look at a 50s housewife from her own point of view, not as just the person that has come home to. We get to see those roles switched of who we get to think is interesting. It's enough to drive you crazy, isn't it? Look at this, this is what it's like working on a studio.